Hello, this is Jane Goodall. I wish that I could be there with you today to share in person all my comments regarding the proposed delisting of the grizzly bears of the Greater Yellowstone ecosystem. I was really shocked to hear about this. Actually, I found it hard to believe. I've met grizzlies in Yellowstone and also, incidentally, up close in Alaska as well. And like so many people, I was deeply impressed. For me, they symbolize, along with the wolf, the American wilderness, the land and the animals I read about as a child. And though I'm no expert on bear behavior or ecology, I've learned an awful lot about them, about their remarkable intelligence, their differing personalities, their close family bonds, and their relationship with the land. Many Native American tribes revere them, think of them as teachers. Forty years ago, when the grizzlies of the Yellowstone ecosystem numbered less than 150 individuals and their survival seemed precarious, it was thanks to protection under the Endangered Species Act in 1975 that their number today has risen slowly to around 700. But their future isn't secure yet because they face so many threats to their survival. Two of their four major foods have all but been wiped out due to climate change, disease, and invasive species. And they may be killed if they prey on livestock in their increasingly difficult search for food. During a visit to Yellowstone with photographer Tom Mangelson, I met the famous mother known only as 399 and her triplets. She is said to be the most famous grizzly in the world. Many of the thousands of people who flock to Yellowstone are hoping to meet her. And I saw how calm she was as she wandered across a road with her cubs, quite ignoring the cars lining the road, the clicking of cameras and the lowered voices. She and the other Yellowstone grizzlies certainly boost the tourist industry. And this, of course, provides jobs for local people and does wonders for the economy. And that's over and above the intense delight that people feel when they encounter 399 and the other grizzlies of the area. Unfortunately, 399 is one of the bears who sometimes moves out of the protected area in search of food. If the grizzlies are delisted and the state opens a hunting season, 399 might be shot by a trophy hunter so that her head can be mounted on a wall her skin laid on the floor for human feet to trample. I think many hearts would break. I know mine would.